put a new primer in uh, 500 rounds of 9mm, mm -hmm. which is like a couple hours of work, no big deal. I was watching TV. And then I put uh, powder and a bullet in about 150. And then he did about 50 after that, and then we stopped. He just did 300 more. Gun. So he's, he's reloaded 500 bullets in 9mm today. Wait, what was this for? We're reloading ammo. But wait, I thought, did you say it was for work? No, we're, oh, just, okay. we're, we're watching TV and just doing it. Okay, we're watching so. the, the a and game today, actually, when we were reloading. Oh yeah, they were playing that downstairs. I was kind of curious about it. I was like, we, huh, I could learn A&M lost, but oh. not as bad as they did last year. That's last good year it was like 50 to 0, this year it was like 40 to 30. It's good to hear when people stop sucking. <laughs> It's gonna be very awkward titling these episodes. Be co op with Ryan slash Kevin slash Simon. Nah, you. Fuck, fuck Simon. He doesn't get a part in this. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is what I come back to? You guys just like shitting on me? Just Kevin. You don't get a, part, don't get a, a name in there? We don't even know you. Guys, we're what? recording. Uh, we can wow. totally like. start two separate tribes of two people each and go to war. No. Oh, Ryan. I call Ryan. We're not you advanced might as well just enough. I title it fucking like Arc on Horse Tranquilizer. <laughs> uh, yeah, record the entire thing from, from the perspective of a catatonic, comatose <laughs> patient. It's very crazy being both catatonic and comatose. Those are big words, and I'm afraid Ryan doesn't understand. Believe it or not, I am fairly intellectual. Say something smart. <laughs> this is Ryan you're talking to. No, Come on now. No, 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 really. Say anything smart. Uh, I, I promise I'll be impressed. <laughs> I don't need this one. Well, you're so smart. Oh, you're good. How do you know so much? <laughs> <laughs> say, an, say, say another smart thing. Oh, no. oh my god, how are you so smart? Oh. So Kevin, can we kill Nick first? Hey. Fuck Every this party guy, he's skipping a steps like a dick. Oh, the guy Oh, the guy you're watching? Yes, the guy I'm watching, he's skipping a bunch of steps. It's like, why am I watching a video if you're... Oh. I clearly don't know how to do it, so why are you skipping steps? I was, uh... I don't remember what I was looking up. I was watching a top 10 anime thing by this guy called, uh... I don't remember what he's called, and if I did, I probably would feel bad for saying his name. But, uh, God, his voice was obnoxious. <laughs> he's just, like, describing all these things in anime. And for one, it was, like, a list of top ten anime that you've definitely never seen, and I'd seen half of them, so I was kind of offended at his, uh, his uh, list. So I was like, fuck you. Top ten anime that you have never seen, Naruto. <laughs> 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 oh, God. This is this is the most professional list we've ever made. Yeah, Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, like Bleach. What's that? Something you use for laundry? It's like a Jerry Seinfeld joke. What's the deal with all this bleach? So what the fuck is? Hold on. Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus. Oh, it's a giant crocodile whale. You can build a base on its back. I'm looking it up because I don't know what the fuck it is. I want to see if they, if anyone's found a picture of it from the in-game. I want to see what it looks like and how big it is. <laughs> Did I say space whale or crocodile whale? Because one of those is definitely wrong. Okay, it's it's like a bit like a Leo Plerodon. Uh. Don't you know your dinosaurs, dickhead? No, I have never heard of a Leo Pleurodon. It's that thing from Charlie the Magical Unicorn. I've never watched I Charlie mean, and the Magical Unicorn. They're actual Unicorn. dinosaurs, but I mean, I can't find a pi uh no, those are megalodons. Anyone find a picture of the uh, mosasaur? Oh, is that it? Oh, that is it. Oh no, that's a plesiosaur. No. Uh, Spinosaur. 
Damn it. I have to go into YouTube to find this, won't I? Yeah, basically. Too much. Oh, wait, there's one. There was one in Jurassic World. I think that's what the thing was in Jurassic World, anyways. Oh, God, it's way bigger than the Plesiosaur. Yeah, Dude. they're supposed to be. They had platform saddles, so they're gonna be massive, basically. Oh God, I'm seeing. I'm. I'm seeing like a scaled in dev like development of him, and the person is like, like literally a twentieth the size, a well, tenth of its size of its mouth. I don't know why my first thing to go to was a twentieth, but uh, yeah, you're definitely bite sized compared to this thing. Not oh, Gigantosaurus. What is that's gonna be? What's really funny is Leoplerodons, their mouths are even fucking bigger than that. <laughs> oh, God. A, a Leoplerodon, literally a third of its body is its head and mouth. How does it... how does it function? One bite at a time? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're supposed to add the Iguanodon soon, which is super cool. Is that the one from the, the movie Dinosaur? Mm -hmm. Maybe? The, the friendly dinosaur, it's all like... Hey guys, I'm I'm gonna travel across the entire world because my family's dead. I'm gonna find new family. I'm gonna travel with Triceratops. First off, does anybody know what the animated movie is? That it's like a bunch of dinosaurs get on an alien spaceship and go oh. forward in time. Wait, do they learn how to talk by eating lettered cereal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Fucking nostalgia. Oh, what is that movie? I have such fond memories of it. I've actually been wondering that for like the past 10 or 20 days, and like, what the fuck is the name? Time to Google this. Dinosaur movie where they eat cereal. <laughs> well, We're back, a dinosaur story. We're back? I think, hold on, let me make sure this is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's We're Back. Captain New Eyes travels back in time and feeds dinosaurs his brain cereal. Makes him intelligent and non-violent. Oh, I need to find this on, like, somewhere. Oh. Let's fucking watch. I remember they get all, like, mean at one point. Like, the, the evil professor makes them go evil. I, I just remember the fucking Triceratops eating fucking wieners all day. Oh god, that Parasaur looks fucking derp. He looks like mentally, he doesn't look like he, all of his faculties are working. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a parasaur. I'm three of ten minutes in. Of what? Really, Nick? What am I doing? Of the guy's video? No, Nick. Of you, uh, me watching a video than actually getting on it. You see, that actually doesn't answer my question. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go do some stuff real quick. Uh, if I'm not back by the time it's set up, text me. I'm going to turn on Doctor Who. Nick, that fucking picture. What, the one I just sent you on the phone? Yeah. It's pretty good. Probably. That was weird. It didn't seem like it was going to connect, and then it did. did. What kicked you? My cat unplugged my power strip from the wall. <laughs> she is now in the bathroom, uh, screaming her head off. And if she keeps complaining, I'm going to squirt her with the water bottle. <laughs> so did that I... effectively stop the download? Uh, that effectively turned off my entire computer. <laughs> I want there to be, like, an a easter egg dodo hidden deep within the jungles. That's like the king of the dodos. Just like, 12 foot tall dodo yeah. that, like, destroys T-Rexes. <laughs> and it's got, like, a really awesome hair. It's got Super Saiyan hair. <laughs> it's a Super Saiyan dodo. Jeeks. What? <laughs> Yep. Kevin, you're, you're not allowed to have, like, other people think you're gay with other guys. You know this. It's not okay. I will not have you cheating on me like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. 
So I'm looking up a list oh, of. Oh god damn it! What? Did it just it went from downloading to committing? Committing. And now it has to go all the way to hundred. Okay, it's oh. finally done. Kevin is committed now, guys. He has commitment issues. So if he's committed. It better be to me and not Kelly. There's a parent. <laughs> <laughs> damn, Ryan, you're really not letting this go. <laughs> this is an ongoing thing. It, Kevin it's... doesn't like Joey. I don't like Kelly. So there's Kevin a. Like Joey? No. Alex yeah, didn't. he's gonna die. So oh my meme, god! Die. How can you not like Joe? Oh, he hasn't met him yet. Okay, that's guys. No, because Joey is my friend who. <laughs> Joey is my new Kevin, and Kevin doesn't like that. Yeah, uh, Joey's gonna meet an unfortunate gun to a face <laughs> accident. <laughs> guys, that's not even unfortunate. Like. Similarly, Kelly will not be surviving much longer. <laughs> yeah, guys, guys, no joke. There is a Marvel superhero called called Arm Fall Off Boy. <laughs> Nothing says you're more hardcore than ripping your own arms off and beating your enemies senseless. But what happens when you lose both arms? Now you're worthless. <laughs> wow. Do they grow back? I think he just puts them back on. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, there's like fucking like Lego arms that pop off. Then there's this girl that can produce earthquakes in accordance to how much alcohol is in her body. That's a. That's I'm gonna that, drink like a motherfucker, and all of <laughs> all of Los Angeles is coming down. That that kid's not a good role model. <laughs> the oh. crowd will tilt as much as my head is. The thunderer, he yells. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna look up lame oh, Real Squirrel bad. Girl. Squirrel Girl's awesome. She beat Doctor Doom by herself. What does she do? She uses squirrels. <laughs> it's Kevin's favorite superhero. <laughs> That's awesome. Color Kid. He can change the color of any object to whatever he wants. He's pretty useless in a fight, but he's a riot at an EDM party. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fifteen of the lamest superheroes of time. Hindsight left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dazzler sounds kind of cool. Converts all music into light. That's that's neat. Very cool. I mean, I dog don't... welder. He welds dead dogs to people's faces. I hope that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for real. That's oh. not okay. <laughs> Oh, has anyone heard of the Dyson Sphere that could be in space? There is possibly oh. an alien structure set around a, s a star very far away that is yeah, used for bullshit. energy. No, it's not as bullshit. It's not bullshit. Aliens exist, and they make Dyson Spheres. Kevin's not saying that aliens don't exist. He's saying that that is bullshit. Yeah, there's not aliens. You don't know that. <laughs> I want to be like those guys in the screw attack comment video, uh, comment sections. Oh, um, Boomstick and what's his name? Oh, are they, are they actually famous commenters for their, like, anger, angeriness? Angeriness? On the, the... All I know is that, um, when me and Roy were looking at the results of, uh, Superman vs. Goku Part 2, in the hey, comments, guys, everyone was pissed off. What? What was that? I'm gonna meet you guys for a minute. I have to do some video watching. Alright. Okay. Rainbow Girl. Presenting Rainbow Girl, the superhero whose superpower is to harness the powers of the emotional spectrum, resulting in wild mood swings. To <laughs> so others? So every teenager. <laughs> right. Wait, please tell me she does it to others and not only to herself. No, to herself only. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's that's beyond <laughs> worthless. I know. Hey, I'm gonna really kick your ass by making you see how bitchy I can get. My my ability I mean, is the menstrual cycle. <laughs> Leather boy. Oh boy. <laughs> an accidental superhero. He assumed uh, an ad for costume adventures was an S&M group and was refused entry for not having any superpowers. <laughs> does he does he get any powers? Does he do anything? Well, uh, angered at the refusal and also by the cuz uh he was angry that Squirrel Girl was accepted. 
He returned to the GLA headquarters disguised as Doctor Doom and killed Monkey Joe. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So he's technically a villain, but not like a super villain. Yeah. God. Looking... So Leather Lad is Squirrel Girl's nemesis, is what Apparently. I'm hearing. God, I fucking hate Marvel. Oh God, where's the guy that pukes acid? Seems like all of these people are mutants. Except for Leather Lad, he's just weird. He's got issues. <laughs> Arthur is another superhero, apparently. Arthur from the cartoon show? Yeah. What? Apparently, he bought a suit that can use any range of superpowers, but he doesn't know how to use it because he bought it at a yard sale. Oh. <laughs> oh, then Arthur. Come with instructions. Oh, Arthur. That's like such a good super suit. <laughs> oh, they're, they're also trying to say Robin is the lamest superhero of all, but I mean... It's... I don't know. If you I watch Teen Titans. Robin's lore, he's like fucking insane. He's pretty cool. Like, yeah. I mean, did you see Teen Titans? Yeah, exactly. yeah. And then there was uh, that other one uh, with... Oh, what was it called? Young Justice. He's pretty cool in Young Justice. Yeah, and he turns like... into fucking Nighthawk. She's badass. Yeah. I mean, y'all know why his name is Robin, right? And why his suit is so, like, flamboyantly gay? Because... Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's like a circus freak, right? <laughs> yep, his parents... His mom I'm made presenting it for the him. amazing gay guy. <laughs> his mom made it for him, and he hated it. And they were going to call him Robin the Acrobat. And he hated it. And he was like, I hate you and everything you stand for in the circus. And he ran away. <laughs> And then he came back and they were dead because someone wanted to kill the Carnies. So he was like, I will take this really gay out <laughs> and this stupid name. Because and it's what my parents Even though it doesn't blend in with the knight, I will apprentice to Batman. And Batman's like, dude, that outfit is just not, not going to work out. And Robin's like, what's wrong with it? Dude, the underwear. You don't even have leggings over it. It's just underwear. God. The almighty dollar. Uh, what? Or, or, his name is Jay Pennington Pennypacker, and he can shoot pennies out of his wrists. <laughs> wow, can he at least like do it really fast where it actually kills somebody? No. It's just, it's, it's just a little, it's a sharp pain. <laughs> it's not so much shooting as it is rolling. <laughs> Skate Man is also another one. He better he, do something he was... good. <laughs> A martial arts enthusiast on roller skates. <laughs> I mean, he's, I mean, he's at least got something going for him. <laughs> he's not even like a martial arts master or a Shaolin monk. No, just an enthusiast. enthusiast. I mean, if he puts his mind to it, he could probably learn something. Clearly, he hasn't put his mind to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enthused about martial arts. Look at these skating. <laughs> Let's see the enthusi or the masterful cod piece. Oh boy! <laughs> no, I don't like roads. I think it's great. Cod piece was created by someone who probably had a lot of issues with women. <laughs> That's awesome. He's a normal dude with a few insecurities, and. He built the most extreme pair of cannon pants ever concocted. <laughs> concocted? <laughs> it's fucking great. Yeah, but apparently his uh, cannon pants can shoot, like, damn near anything. Oh, well, that's good. Just wish you'd put it in a different place. <laughs> but... But yeah, he's got a big cannon coming was, out of his crotch. What was his name? Codpiece. Just Codpiece? Just Codpiece. Cod so piece. he's like the crimson chin or, or the bronze kneecap, but not as cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that is an epic costume. <laughs> no. Like, it's a chest. His, oh my god, his, his helmet is shaped like a fucking dick. That is. This is an actual superhero. And he's got a. He can attach things to the cod piece like a drill. Yeah. That is a pretty good superhero. I don't know why everyone hates him. 
He just it's, he punched the so god in the face <laughs> with his god piece. He's literally got a mushroom cap for his head. Like seriously. Oh god, this weird frog-headed lady just dissolved his cod piece. Looks pretty horrific. So, fun fact, if you look up images under just cod piece, the hero is not the first thing to show up. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I specified. In case you were okay, another useless one, vibe. Creates powerful shockwaves and break dances. <laughs> oh boy, if only the break dancing wasn't there. <laughs> oh my god, literally all Codpiece does is attach things to his Codpiece. <laughs> exactly. Let's see, uh, Bouncing Boy inflates into a ball and bounces. <laughs> I, mean, I saw something with him before. It's not the worst ability, it's, it's not the best. But it's not so bad. He makes himself okay. obese. Man. Here's another useless one. Doorman teleports people, but only to an adjacent room. <laughs> so what happens if... I mean, honestly, I could see that being a, not a superpower, but, like, you can build a kick-ass fucking, like, base, and you don't need a door. You don't need a, a hideout, like, opening. You just have this guy, like walking around a mountain and anytime you want to get in you have to find him and he's like you get to go in the mountain well, what he teleports if, you into the mountain what if he just realizes the entire world is just one big set of rooms then he could teleport anywhere he wants I know no he can't teleport himself he can teleport other people wait because he's the doorman he can't even teleport himself <laughs> no. what a fucking piece of shit <laughs> Jesus why am I trying to support this guy Stone boy turns his himself into stone, but when he does, he's immobile. All right, reminds <laughs> me of a uh, angel. <laughs> there Basically, was, but a really useless one. There was a book series I read where there's these uh, magicians that could uh, they use elemental magic, and the only things that were good were fire and water. I don't or fire and air. I mean, I don't know what water did, and I know that anyone that used stone magic would turn into a statue. And it was just like, why would you even have that be an option? What the fuck? Alright, well, I'm having a problem. What's the problem? Uh, there's apparently a file missing. Do you uh, want to just... Should we thing? just do a, no a normal thing? Yeah. Because like, at this point, it's just it seems like it's turning into too much trouble. And I, I've been recording nothing for about 15 <laughs> minutes. Why did you start recording? Because uh, I thought we were going to be on. Well, actually, no, I haven't been recording nothing. I've been recording great superhero gold. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Another one. Extraño okay. does magic. Some of it real, only some of it. And it perpetuates <laughs> deeply offensive homophobic stereotype. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. It does some real magic, only some. And he's a homophobic. That's, That's his thing. That's a pretty good ability. <laughs> or El Guapo has oh. a symbiotic relationship with his skateboard. <laughs> what? What does that exactly. mean? Th that means him and his skateboard are like. B B well, yeah, but what? I, I know. I like. I. I know what it means. Like literally. But what could that possibly mean for him and his skateboard? <laughs> What, I don't know. what depth does the relationship have? Did Nick, did you ever watch uh, Soul Eater? Yes. Oh, I it's love like that. So the skateboard like talks. No, no, no. They just they reverberate power from each other. So this. Okay. What, <laughs> like, what, what about Madame Fatale? Dresses up like an old woman. That's to, her power. <laughs> to just dress like an old woman. <laughs> exactly. Does she? she is she, she at least a woman, normally? Yeah, she is a woman. Okay. Well, at least there's that. That's her power. Man. These superheroes are really freaking doing good. 